What's going on guys? Bob over at RC Works. So I'm gonna do a short video here. I'm gonna keep it around five minutes long. And what I'm gonna show you guys is the process that we do when someone places an order for an ECU and from start to finish. What I'm also gonna show you in this video is the difference between an ECU that is set up for an S300 and an ECU that is chipped. We sell both of them. I'll put the link down below. Um, we also buy ECUs, so if you're trying to make some money and you have some ECUs that you want to want to sell, they have to be Honda OBD1 ECUs, uh, we have a list for you that we can uh, send you to, so just message us. But I'm going to show you guys the difference between an ECU that's set up for S300 and an ECU that is chipped. I get a lot of questions, a lot of phone calls. I got a chipped ECU. Will the S300 plug right into it? This video is going to show you why it will not. So hopefully it helps. Please like, please share. If you got any questions, info will be down below or just comment and I'll reply. Thanks a lot, guys. So we have a stock computer here. And you see right in this area, that is blank. And then right over here is also blank. That's gonna be modified here. I'll show you an ECU that uh, is finished after all this. Uh, but right now we're going to take the back of the cover off too, and we're going to remove the circuit board because these these outer, um, sorry, these cases have to be painted before they uh, can ship out, and then they also have to be modified for the S300. Okay, so here's the bottom of the ECU with the bottom portion of the cover removed. What I wanted to show you guys or what you saw me do really quick was you can see the rust here and that is, that's always, you know, uh, something to be alarmed a little bit about when we buy ECUs. We're looking for stuff like this that can possibly, you know, is this water damage? Is it inside the ECU? Uh, the other thing too, of course, is, you know, how clean do these pins look and whatnot. And... Basically, you want to look over the whole board, see if you see any burn spots. Um, one of the things you can actually do is when you take the top of the cover off, if you breathe in, you can actually smell um, if you have a burnt component. Uh, my best way that I describe it, it smells like um, when, when I was a kid with the garden hose, when you turn it on and drink the water from it. It almost smells like that. That's, you know, it smells like a garden hose to me. That's the best way that I can describe it. Um, this ECU was sent in from one of our um, repeat customers that we buy a lot of ECUs for. So this one should have been tested by him. It should be good to go. But ultimately, before it does ship out, we're going to test it. And we're going to show you that process too. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the board. You got all your screws right here. You got screws right here around the board. And then you have one screw right here. Camera will focus. And that holds that little, little bracket in. So you'll see that right now.
So that's pretty much it, guys. You can see it's all complete. I gotta put the bottom on. I'll go get the covers. They're painted. The case is painted. Um, you know, all this stuff is just for uh, appearance, aesthetics. It doesn't have to be done, but you bought something from us. We want a nice, new, clean package to arrive in your hands. Um, and before anybody says to, when you're handling an ECU, you should have a grounding strap on your wrist. Not gonna argue with you on that one. All these ECUs get tested before they leave here. So we can ensure that they work 100%. So I do usually wear gloves. I make sure that I'm not rubbing my feet on the uh, carpet before I handle an ECU. We don't have any carpet here. That's why I'm kind of laughing. But uh, that's about it. I'll um, put on the other top covers. We'll put our sticker on it. I will uh, hook it up to the laptop. I'll register it, ensure that it works. That's the other thing too. Um, when you do get the ECU, it will be registered with our name on it. Uh, this is just, we have to register it to ensure that it works and we have to test it. You can go in there, you can change the registration up. Um, if you do order one of ours and you, you want a custom map from us, our maps uh, will be on there already as well. So it should be completely plug and play. As I said before, or at the start of this video, you got questions, you got comments, you got concerns, comment below, shoot us a message, email me, please like and share. Take care guys. That's pretty much it guys. Hopefully you uh, like that little video. This will be tested and ensured that it works and then it'll be shipped out to the customer. One last thing as well, when you buy a ECU from us already set up, you still get this box. You still get the cable. You get the external sensor stuff if you're trying to do that stuff. You get a Honda sticker. Two of them. And you get a license plate frame as well. So, in case you were wondering, do you still get the cable with this package? Yes, you do.